Good morning, everyone! I'm not a morning person, but I'm awake. It's Brian here, and I've got some video requests. I'm going to take care of one this morning, and the rest of them I'll probably hook up this weekend. So if you've uh, submitted a request, hang tight. By Sunday night, you should have your video. Uh, here, it's DJ. Let me, let me make sure I get this right. I3NC3. He's got a Behringer DJX700 mixer. He's a drum and bass DJ, and he's having a really hard time with his BPM counter on this thing. It's not really working right for him. And he's asking about the beat assist feature as well. Um, here's the deal, uh, I3. The Behringer uh, BPM counters completely 100% suck. Okay, Behringer, or if you're watching, you suck. All right? Uh, they're not very good. But uh, let's play with it a little bit and see what we can't find out about it. All right, here is my uh, VMX 300 from Behringer. Well, here's a BPM counter for uh, deck one. Here's a BPM counter for deck two. Let's throw a tune on uh, deck two and just play with it a little bit. Okay, this song that I'm going to be playing is Every Day is Halloween by Ministry. Okay, little uh, shout to uh, our good friend Grill Revolt at Mixing on Beat. Thanks, bro. He hooked me up with a really cool uh, box set. Now, I know this tune is 114 BPM uh, just because I do. I know it is for a fact, for sure. Mixmeister told me so, and I've known this song for over 20 years. So let's just throw it on and see what the Behringer has to say about it. If anything. Okay, it's pretty close. 113. Let's give it a minute and see what it does. Because it'll change. 109. Okay, it's telling us 114. Now it's not. Now what's it going to tell us? Anything? Well, here, let's try the beat assistant feature. Let's just press this button. To the beat of the music, press the button. So, there you go. It's kind of like a tap feature. You just hit the button, hit the button, hit the button until you get the BPM you want. Okay, now let's go to deck two. I got a drum and bass record on here, and uh, let's see what happens with that. Okay, we know it's not 88 BPM. We know it's not 89 BPM. Maybe 188 BPM. It's not telling us anything. So let's try beat assist. One. No, it's not 92 BPM. It's not 97. Okay, our little exciting experiment. Okay, this is what we have figured out. So far that we know for a fact that this mixer has no idea what's going on with drum and bass, okay? So I'm gonna teach you a trick on how to count your BPMs. First, we're going to try it with the first ministry record, okay? And let's see how accurate it is. Here's a trick. Instead of going and through one minute of your song and counting every beat, try this. Get yourself a clock with a second hand on it and check this out. It's not the most accurate second hand in the world, but I'm going to use that one on that clock. I'm going to put the song on. I'm going to count the beats for 10 seconds, and let's see how accurate we are. Just count them. It's 
start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Up. Okay, nineteen. Okay. So here, if you take nineteen times six, it's one hundred fourteen, right? It's got to be. 114. So here, look. I'll go on my little calculator on my computer and verify that. Okay, here. Here's my calculator. 19 times 6 equals 114. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's a shortcut to getting your beats per minute. On drum and bass, it might be a little harder because you got a lot of beats, but uh, do your best. Let's try it with this drum and bass record and see how we do. And we'll turn the camera back to our second hand, okay? And we'll start this tune up. We'll just go anywhere in the song. Any place we can deal with on the clock? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That seems pretty high, but let's check it out. It tells us 27. Whew, that's gonna be high. 27 times 6 equals 162. That sounds about right for drum and bass, don't it? About 162 beats per minute. We could do it again. Let's see how we do on a second try. Okay, so what did we get the last time? 27? Let's try it again. Find a place I can deal with on the clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Okay, I got twenty-nine that time. Okay, I'm two different. Clear? And I go twenty-nine times six. Now I'm at 174. But to get the idea, what you really need is a good clock. Maybe a stopwatch should be like just perfect so you get it perfect. I'm using a wall clock so it's a little tough. But that's a great way to count BPM. It's like I said, it's really hard to do with a drum and bass because it's so fast. But uh, give it a go. I hope this helped. If it didn't help, tell me I'm lame. If it helped, tell me it was cool. Give me a rating, give me a comment. And uh, next time I see ya, oh who knows, I might be able to do a video today yet. But we're going to go on the road with mobiles. We got two mobiles this weekend. So practice and enjoy, and we'll see you on the road.